Todd Goldstein from the Kangaroos uh, has been good enough to join us on the show. Uh, it's always great to have you on the show. Todd, thanks for your time. No, thanks a lot, boys. When you're in the middle of a week like the Kangas are in, where, you know, there's a... I get, does it feel like there's a bit of a siege mentality at the footy club? You, you, you know, you have the big week against the Tigers. You, you don't get the job done last week. People from outside the club, you know, want to pull it apart and put the club under pressure and encourage people to do things a bit differently. Do you get a sense that you bunker down and you got to come out tomorrow night and make a bit of a statement? Oh, I guess you, you, you know, that everyone's watching and you know everyone's talking about you. But I think you know, no one's no one's looking at what happened last week more than we are, and. Uh, we know that you know we're under a fair bit of pressure, only because of how we've performed and or haven't performed. So, I think that a lot of pressure is coming from ourselves as well. So it's just about working out where we're going wrong and 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 training hard on on those areas. Todd, good morning. It's Tim here. How long do you spend on those game reviews? Say the review from last weekend. How long would you spend as a group sitting down there watching it, pulling it apart? Yeah, we we spent probably about an hour, hour and a half on it on Monday. Um, and once that was that was the team review, and, and then you probably spend another half an hour, forty five minutes with with your individual line coach, uh, going through your your own edits and and looking at areas you can improve, and then you try and do that as early in the the week as you can, and so you can you can move on and and start training those things, and then move on to next week's opposition. Todd, in the reviews that you've had, and including the one at the weekend, are the same things discussed, are we talking about, everyone wants to know, okay, well, why do North Melbourne give up leads? Why can't mm. they play games out? You know, is it mental? Is it physical? Is it the game plan? Whatever it is. Are you finding the same reasons over and over again? Uh, gen- uh, gen- yeah, so, mate, not exact, not identical reasons, but they, they are very similar themes that, that we are going wrong. And you know, it's, yeah, it, it is a bit of a, just a mental lapse that we, we go through. It's not like, you know, that we're, you know, it seems like we're choking, but you know, I think it's just about sticking to the game plan for for longer, and and we really get ourselves in trouble when when we don't stick to it, and and, and when we go away from what we do well. Todd, I've said uh, you know, on a number of occasions. I, I think it's I think it's physical. I, I I think that you know, and I think that what Brad Scott said the other day about playing this up tempo game. That's the sort of footy you want to play because that's what's going to be successful in September, and that's where you're all headed. I, I think as a group that you know maybe you're just incapable of being able to play that game out each quarter, and that's what is getting you in trouble. Am I near to what it is that might be the problem? Oh, uh, you know, I think I think it is very hard for us to defend that sort of point. Since we aren't really running out the games that great, but you know, I think it's uh, it's not necessarily the last quarters that's getting us in issues. Uh, you know, we've been okay in the last quarter. Generally, it's it's really the third quarter that's absolutely killed us a, a lot of time and happened on the weekend. So I think the fact that it's happening in, in different quarters, I'm not sure if it's necessarily just a fitness thing. You know, I'm sure that would play into it a little bit, but you know, I think it's I think it's more just getting used to, to playing this style probably as effectively as we are have this year. I think, you know, we, we aren't used to that, that, that level of work, so... No, it, that probably plays a little bit of a part into it, but I don't think that's the only reason. Are you sensing that tomorrow night's a really, really big game? Is are you getting that feel around the club that you know the season is where it's at, and you're still a chance of playing finals footy, a real chance of playing finals footy? A lot of it hinges on tomorrow night. Yeah, I think I think we've I think since we were four and eight, uh, we lost to Fremantle. I think we've realised that pretty much every game we're going to play now is is pretty important. Um, we can't really afford to to drop too many, but uh, we, we wanted to try and get back to, to eight and eight, and I guess now now we lost to Brisbane. It, we just got to shift that goal to to nine and nine, and if we can get there, then you know I think anything's anything's possible. We've just got to got to keep sticking together, and you know, I, th- I think we've we've shown we can do it now. So we, we've just got to we've Todd, just got to try and stick at it for longer. Mm. Todd, you uh, talking to Todd Goldson, the ruckman from uh, North Melbourne. You're 25 years of age. You played 94 games. Uh, were you surprised to learn during the week that you are the least rotated ruckman in the game? Um, yeah, you know, it's probably not something that we've thought about. I know I don't get get too many rotations, but um, yeah, I probably was surprised that I only had twenty. But you know, then you look at someone like Drew, who's only had five, I think. So, you know, I think it's just the way the way it happens. I know I don't get rotated too much, and you know, that's I know I know that's that's what I'm in for each game. You're, that's an extraordinary workload, though. Is are you exhausted? <laughs> you, you, you are pretty tired by the end of the game, but. 
you know, I think whenever, whenever um, Alex Shinko asks me how I'm going, you know, I say I'm pretty stuff. But, <laughs> I say, I, but you know, during the last quarter, that's what you're supposed to be, I think. So, you know, it, 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 you know, it, it is what it is. If I if I change out of ruck, that means Drew Petrie has to go go in there, and you know, he, he's one of our most dangerous forwards, and and takes their best defender. So, you know. It, I'm not really that inclined to want to change him in too much. I bet. Um, but, you know, we, we, we do need to try and change a bit more, but, you know, four's not too much of a break either. So I'm more than happy just to, to keep rucking along. Mate, all the best tomorrow night. It's going to be a huge game, obviously, for both of the clubs. Uh, Carlton eyeing a spot in the eight. You blokes eyeing a spot in the eight. There's a game, the difference between the two of you. You guys with the superior percentage. We can keep setting the scene, but at the bottom line, everybody knows that it's going to be a really big game. And, we know that you'll come out breathing fire and we wish you all the very best. Thanks for joining us on the show today. Thanks a lot, boys. Really looking forward to it. Good, Good on you, Todd. Todd Goldstein from the Kangaroos.